guys. Been wanting to do this video for a while. Sorry, it's been kind of delayed lately. Uh, I have uh, more stuff with the shed I'm doing right now. I'm drywalling the ceiling. And oh yeah, it's a big mess. I've been moving everything everywhere. One side, everything on the other side. Sorry about the lighting. The lighting this is all I got for the lighting right now. I have the fixtures out right now because of the uh, drywall on the ceiling and there's no light fixtures on it right now. But to get on with it, I'm gonna be doing a recap of the two bottle opener um, style uh, fastbacks. And the video I did last time on these were in uh, portrait mode, not in landscape mode. So we've got a nice landscape mode here on them. And I'm adding two more fastbacks, uh, more of the modern ones here, uh, the latest ones available and there's there's a ton of them out there but at least we have a good comparison right here for this video and to recap this one right here the 4822-1505 uh some people have been telling me that they could squeeze another blade in the blade section here looks like if you do bend the plastic a bit you can fit another blade in there but uh or like a rounded blade but uh for the most part, it's only made for one blade and the marking right here shows that a blade goes right there and it is rather difficult to remove. So it's not really much of a feature. This little clip right here fits into the indentation and lets you remove the blade, yeah, which is rather difficult. So that little clip rides in that divot. Sorry about the lighting again. Um, if you can see, fits right in there and it won't let it out, won't fall out. Uh, another thing um, that I noticed last time was the uh, the grinding right here. I figured out that this grinding is there for the um, the lock, lever lock. Let me shut this first here. The lever lock sits, uh, can't see it quite well, but the lever lock sits right at that grinding. So the grinding is there for that reason. So you can't really paint it. You can't really do anything about that. So that's it for that on that. Um, yeah, blade activity is very nice on it. Not much issues on it. And uh, I think another feature I missed last time was the uh, drywall cutting feature. So when you get a tape measure, this style with the peg end on it, with this little peg on it, you can stick it right in there. So when you make a cut, you know, only make one side cut right there. It rides right on there on this end and you can cut your drywall along, put your finger in here on how long you want it and ride along the drywall and you, that guides there and it uh, stays in there nice. So you can make a nice even cut on drywall. So that's what that little divot right there is for. And yeah, no problems on the blade change. Did I use a different blade on this one? Yeah, I got a Tajima. T-Rex, V-Rex blade on this one. Super nice blades. I love these Tajima blades. Nice um, blades here. I think I stuck these in a different holder here. I forgot where I got this holder from. Mostly came with a different knife. So yeah, there's your Tajima V-Rex 2 on there. Sharp blades. I believe they're the sharp ones, not the um, the extra hard ones. But other than that, um, yeah, nothing really else on this one um heard that these get all messed up too and they don't work had a couple people uh say that this paper clip really messed them up so it doesn't really hold the, the bit in there so yeah it's kind of cheesy but uh yeah there just to get you by um yeah i wish they did something better with that but th that's all you can really fit right there um when you have a uh, you want two different um bits to be held in this they must have just gave it up on holding another bit on this to make it a reversible bit and that's the only way you can do it with a reversible bit is to have that little paper clip collar to hold it in so yes it's pretty much all they decided on and uh yeah if you may have to do a little tune up on it just to make it hold a little better but other than that that's pretty much all you get it is a nice little added feature um and yeah that's it for that um yeah, the bottle opener, of course, is <laughs> the best feature on that one. This one, I actually got it to loosen up a little bit. I don't know if I can do it right now. Oh, yeah. Nice. So, yeah, this one, finally, I got it to loosen up. I played around with this thing for hours. Definitely, <laughs> it took a long... See, it's not even...
fully um yeah it's kind of cold in here not not too warm but yeah when it warms up it does loosen up a little bit better but yeah it's still not fully uh releasable yet there's no nothing you can do about it i tried removing these but i was going to strip them and i just gave up on, on removing these and uh trying to get see if i can get uh more lube and stuff in there but what i did use is this um gun lube little needle lube comes off is a little cap so yeah it precisely lubes uh any point for you right there i got this from uh opinel the french knives it was recommended to me at the cart when I, on the um when i was getting ready to pay it's the sentry tough glide rust inhibitor and lubricant so sentry solutions limited i believe they have a instagram page but yeah, I was recommended on the checkout for that when I purchased, uh, I believe this one. And uh, yeah, this is, these are cool blades here, the Openel um, French knives. I got a wire stripper there and a cutter. And uh, awesome with these, they have a sleeve that ramps up and locks it in. So it's an infinite lock right there for your blade. And What's cool about this one is it, hold, is it holds a bit in there. You just slide it and has a, a little magnet right there. And you have a nice little bit holder, S2 steel bit holder on the side, composite handle, and we've got the Phillips on the other side, which is pretty cool. And it also locks as well in the lock position with the little ramp right there. That's what's cool about this, this is the number nine. Um, I believe it starts with the B back, back and L back. Something is, is this one, this one's cool. And the other one right here is the corkscrew, which is a nice little feature right here. Nice locking feature on that. It just snaps in and that's pretty cool. This is the, also a number, oh, this is a number 10. So number 10 is a little bit bigger, I believe the numbers indicate it goes down to a number two. Yeah, this is a number nine. Number 10 is bigger. It goes up to like number 14 or something and all the way down to number two on the sizes. So there's tons of these. And this is a wooden handle. So that's pretty cool on there. Cool uh, lubrication on that. If you ever need to precisely lube your blades, definitely check that out. And uh, yeah, got the nice tether hole there. I don't think I missed any features on the last videos with this. You got the reversible clip, which is nice. Um, not too much to update on it. I haven't used this one much, um, but uh, yeah, because it's just it's just a pain in the butt. Um, yeah, same thing with the bit holder right there. It uh, it holds it now because it's new, but over time, looks like I used this one a bit, but over time, yes, it will loosen up on you and, and give up on you. So FYI on that, keep that in mind. Um, yeah. That's pretty much on the blade one. My uh, favorite blade is, of course, the Hardline. Yeah, this is one of my favorites right here. This Hardline is super nice. Very easy uh, liner lock there. It's just a one piece right here with the um, screw that holds that in, I believe. And uh, yeah, super nice. I like this one. Um, yeah, just one hand with the flip super fast get to it the d2 steel there's three sizes i believe this might be the middle size uh this is the 4822 1994 and uh oh yeah this what yeah these two are the bottle opener these are the only two bottle opener ones the bottle opener there and a bottle opener there so the 4822 1540 and the 1505 are the only two bottle opener ones. And these are like the latest and greatest ones here. Um, on to these. This was purchased as a kit. It is the 4822 1503 along with um, the uh, compact, which is the 4822 1500 and the fastback, the fatter fastback regular one this latest one 48 22 1502 and yeah once again there you go there's the uh, tape measure feature uh, you can learn a lot by uh, reading the package sometimes 
<laughs> yeah um yeah this is cool uh it still runs around 20 bucks everywhere but every once in a while you'll see it uh as low as 12 bucks i actually picked this one up for 10 bucks at my local sack fasteners store construction supply store they had it on the red table 50 percent off tables so i picked this up as a good deal 10 bucks for two of these that that is awesome um yeah you, these are around 10 bucks each so definitely like a buy one get one free right here and uh yeah this is your typical fastback nothing to complain about in this one it has the uh yeah the feature right there for the tape measure uh these blades actually last pretty good the ones that come with it uh last pretty long same blade change here just super easy you just press on that button right there yeah sorry again about the light and yeah, it comes in, you got the wire stripper or cutter here. And uh, we have five extra blades that it can hold on this plastic swing out right here. So these fatter ones are the ones that hold the most blades right here for you. And again, we have, again, we have another cutter right here. And yeah, just your simple fast back tether hole, um, non-reversible uh, clip, got the wire clip, nice and stiff. And uh, no other features to mention on this one. Yeah, nice and uh, good grip. It's got some weight to it, it's metal body. Yeah, these two are plastic, these are not metal. I think I got a couple questions asked about if these were metal. These are plastic bodies with the metal liners on the inside. And this is metal, aluminum, I believe. Um, this is metal as well. So it's got a little weight to it. But not too bad yeah so it's yeah it's aluminum so it's got got some weight but not not as much weight as the this piece right here so there you go yeah this is the steel right here so yeah on that your typical fastback haven't heard any complaints on these these are awesome a lot of people like them and uh this is the compact version so the compact version has a tether uh hole right here this is the 48 22 1500 Kind of bouncy but uh i was using it for a little bit and it did just open up fine was it this one i don't know i think this one's bouncy yeah, this one's really bouncy but yeah it's your compact one no blade storage i believe um yeah no blade storage whatsoever uh you can't reverse the clip it's just your typical compact one it does have the tape measure feature on there and uh yeah yeah pretty cool compact version right there nothing too much about this one um why do these look so clean and i don't use them much because this one right here is my favorite i think on my last video i showed as well yeah the box opener 2000 it's got some use <laughs> and i did all the drywall with this one uh, a lot of insulation cutting all the way on this one these blades do last good insulation really doles out your not their blades and uh, these sharp ones do stay sharper you don't have to change them that much on that um so again this is the holder for them for the extra sharp yeah not these aren't the hards these are the sharps tajima um has some darn good blades it's my favorite so far can't beat these i just i just love these yeah the tajima rock hard these are the yeah these are 25 millimeters yeah so i'm a fan of the largest available so these are the largest ones here and the blade holder right here holds like i believe two or three i think two blades a little difficult to open but um yeah it's not not bad yeah i just love the grip on this can't lose it it's nice and big <laughs> it sticks out like a sore thumb and you can find it every time that's what's good about these yeah it's a lot bigger in person um yeah you'll find this um you may have a hard time sticking it in the bags and stuff but uh if you leave it on top of tables everywhere in your shop you can easily see this thing and grab it when you go this thumb wheel can be uh one hand operated and locks in very well it doesn't slip on you yeah, I just, I just love this thing. In order to change it all the way, you unscrew it all the way and it comes out and you can change your blade. Just, uh, man, I can't say anything more about this. This thing is just just awesome. I just love this thing. And um, what else do I have here before I go? Just picked this one up recently. This is a strange one. You'll see it at some Home Depots, not all of them. 
They're starting to show up in a lot of them though. I, I've seen a couple more sh uh, show these. These are about 10 bucks at Home Depot. Kind of strange. It uh, comes out, you, this one just has a thumbprint on it because just to show you, this is the first blade that comes with. And yeah, it just locks in with this spring lever. It's just so strange. It does give you the two positions that the blade comes with. And um, yeah, it has a little magnet back here as a symbol of a magnet. So it falls back on the magnet and it keeps it from falling out. So you're not gonna have it fall out if this spring moves. And on the other side, you can have a uh, another cutter here. But it's kind of kind of tricky there. It might, it might scrape your thumb up there. So <laughs> be careful with this one. It's just kind of strange. And uh, this is the bumper right here that keeps it from coming out all the way. And this is how you change it. You just uh, yeah, take this bumper out, swing it out, and then you can change your blade. But it's cool, it does, it is cool that you can have two blades and uh, yeah, uh, this might swing out on you. It might catch on something, swing out on you. But at least you have this spring lock and the magnet as a backup there. Um, this is kind of oddly placed. Um, I haven't used this yet, but yeah, it's kind of oddly placed, swung out to the side there. Uh, the bottle opener works on this side. I, I, I don't know if you can remove that. You might be able to remove that and have the bottle opener work on both sides but yeah it looks like the cap doesn't fit in there but it does I, I checked it out the cap fits in there and you can use it very easily as a bottle opener but yeah this is new um yeah my thoughts on that it's just kind of weird with that but uh yeah you know i had to get it because of the bottle opener <laughs> uh yeah so yeah definitely oh yeah last but not least got the serrated blades these will look kind of cool in some of them um you can use it for like rope and stuff um Usually you see the 50 pack online. This this uh, five pack doesn't show up online for some reason. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, you can get this for just two, like two bucks, three bucks at Home Depot. That's cool to have the serrated blades. And I believe that is about it. All right, real quick before I go, just added this, just got this from Ace Hardware. This is the part number right there. They have cool serrations on it. Just cost me a couple bucks. I decided to grab it real quick add it to the end of this video and I'll show you also the reason why I got these serrated ones was from the tactical keychains uh, little blade here that he has follow him on Instagram and watch his stories he, you're gonna have to uh, request a follow because I think he's still private but you go in and he uh, has his stories when he drops these down you gotta jump on them real quick yeah that is cool you gotta jump on these super quick because they go fast check that out the serrations look awesome on this very very nice little blade holder here pocket sized tactical keychains this is the tuck xl check it out he has a small one as well too and a couple other stuff on his site but uh, yeah they go really fast so definitely check him out another shout out to red quasar he had a video on this victor enix made in germany swiss army knife sharpener kind of like an edc pen you can quickly sharpen a blade has the right angle on the ceramic little sharpeners right there check that out made in germany super cool cap on that and the other hand has a nice long ceramic sharpener here for your small blades and it can sharpen a fish hook down the middle right there on both sides the ceramic is made in the european union right there super sweet check out his channel he has a lot of cool stuff like this and uh, once again, guys, don't want to go too long in this video. Thank you for watching and on to the next.